a pair of glasses that is able to read text and convert it into speech allowing blind and visually impaired people has been tested by scientists. The device looks like a small camera attached to the side of a pair of glasses. Using OCR, optical character reading, technology, the camera and tiny computer it contains can read printed materials. It is activated by pointing it at an object and pressing a trigger button. The speech output is then fed into the earpiece of the person wearing the glasses. Many people with partial sight have to carry around a heavy magnifying glass to read text. Researchers at the University of California said the new system dramatically improved the ability of people with limited sight to read books, menus, newspapers and emails. The camera is not limited to text, its maker said it can also recognize faces and products. The research paper Evaluation of a Portable Artificial Vision Device Among Patients with Low Vision has been published in the U.S. journal JAMA Ophthalmology. Dr. Mark Mattis and colleagues carried out research on 12 people with low vision, 6 men and 6 women with an average age of 62. He said, age-related macular degeneration is one of the most common causes of blindness in the elderly and it has no cure in its advanced stages. This device offers hope to patients who are beyond medical or surgical therapy for the condition. It is easily used and could potentially bring greater independence, particularly for older patients who are struggling with vision loss he said. The participants were all legally blind from a variety of disorders including macular degeneration and glaucoma. To get a baseline idea of the subject's sight, they were asked to perform a 10-item test using only glasses. Initially, None of the participants could perform five of the tasks. These were reading a message on a smartphone, a newspaper article, a menu, letter or page from a book. Eleven could recognize banknotes, eight could find a room in a hallway using wall-mounted signs, and seven could recognize products and distinguish between similar-sized and shaped breakfast cereal boxes. After using it for a week, all of the subjects were able to carry out at least nine of the ten items on the test and said they found it easy to use and would consider using it in their daily lives. The authors performed a separate sub-analysis of seven patients who were using other low vision aids and found that their performance on the test was better when using the device, as well. Patients with low vision often are often dependent on handheld or electronic magnifiers, which may be somewhat cumbersome to use, said Elad Moiseev co-author and UC Davis Fitri Original Surgery Fellow. This is the first independent clinical study to evaluate this new low vision aid device based on novel optical character recognition technology, Dr. Moise Siev added. Our results show that it can be a very useful aid for patients with low vision in performing activities of daily living, and increase their functional independence. The device, marketed as Orcam and invented by an Israeli company, is on sale in the U.S. for between $2,500 minus $3,500. $1,700? The device has not yet been launched in the U.K. Earlier this year it was tested by Luke Hines, 27, of Elfrecum, who is blind in one eye and only 3% vision in the other after an operation to remove a childhood brain tumor. He described the device as life-changing and meant he could now embark on studying at university. He was unable to attend school, has not found work because of his condition and has spent years feeling isolated. Something as simple as going to Tesco I used to hate doing because I would just go, get the same things every time and get out of there, he said. Now I can spend hours up there just trying to read everything. It's really nice being able to do it without having to rely on someone else. Mr. Hines, from Devon, was fitted with the Orcam glasses as he grew increasingly despairing of his handicap. Daily life was difficult for him and everyday tasks were a struggle, so his family contacted the manufacturers who agreed to lend him a pair for a trial period. I have mapped out in my mind all of Elfrecum and most of Barnsaple, so if people saw me they wouldn't necessarily know I was blind, he said. But if post ever came through I would just push it to the side because there was no way I could read it.